So two things recently happened during the marketing um, of Trolls Band Together where they sat down and talked to the creators. And recently it was revealed the troll map. We have Trolls 1, we have Trolls World Tour, and we got Band Together locations on the map to know where they are properly located in terms of the Trolls universe. And that's very cool. Then on the other side of the coin, we have an interviewer asking a normal question of, uh, hey, what can we expect from a Trolls 4? And Walt presented a normal answer when, you know, you got three movies, you know, so normal response was, you know, we got some ideas cooking, but we need to know what characters we need to bring back and work accordingly from there. Normal answer, normal response, since you're working on sequels and things like that. But for me as a fan, I go, what characters? And the reason why I pose it this way is because it's not like the Trolls cast is super small. It is giant. The Snack Pack... The world tour leaders and a few sidekick characters like Riff or the Funk family of Prince D, Cooper, Queen Essence, and King Quincy. And then you have Brozone and Viva. Then you have the Trolls Topia characters. And then you have the supporting cast of Trolls The Beat Goes On. That's a lot. And I want to present a very harsh statement that's sadly very true to both the fandom side and a creative, creative side of the people who work on Trolls. Fellow Trolls tuber, the Winged Unicorn, brought up a good point. Not a good point. Well, it is a good point, but it's a sad point. Recently in her Viva video, she brought up that she does not want to properly engage with Trolls Band Together. She wants to put the movie at arm's length and not get attached. Because she knows the moment she gets attached to a character, that character will either one, not be referenced, or two, would exist but would be put on the bench Poppy says goodbye, and they go off on the adventure without them. And I hate to say this, but that's an easy way to lose fans. Easy way. And if Trolls isn't going to deliver on their favorite fans' favorite characters returning, a harsh statement here. They can say goodbye to that Trolls map. They can say goodbye to filling that out completely. Because if that box office return is not there, you say goodbye to that. And that sucks from both a fan perspective and a creator perspective. So I feel like Walt Dorn presents a good question here. We have to determine what characters people want to see return, and act accordingly. I think this is a moment for the fandom to generally do something. And my suggestion is a hashtag I'm creating. Hashtag my fave trolls. It'll be in the title so you can all use it. I have two suggestions. Um... Suggestion for Trolls Tubers. Make a video using the hashtag and title what trolls I want to see in the next Trolls movie. For me, I'm going to be titling that. Um, if you want to steal my idea, go right ahead. In my video, I'm going to do a top six characters I would like to see in a Trolls movie uh, to, to give a general basis of my own opinion on the matter. And then, if you have social media, my two recommendations are Twitter and Instagram. Make a post saying hashtag my favorite trolls and show who your favorite troll is. On Twitter, you could make a thread if you want to. 
Instagram, you could probably do a, like a little by little posts on your favorite character and maybe why. Um, but yeah, I generally think that we should do this as a fandom to not only keep the franchise alive, but also to give what the crew want in terms of, you know, adding more locations on that troll map. I think this is a win-win for everyone. Anyways, I'm Speed Force Spectre, and I'm signing out.